Well, I hope you're sitting at home watching this because we've got a little test for you now. Are you concentrating? Because do you know what KPC means? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. How about this one? P999. And finally, what about this one? A bit more complicated. Let's hope I get it right. L-M-I-R-L. -L. Any ideas? Well, if you're a parent, you might want to brush up on these acronyms because according to the government, it is what teens are using to disguise their language and feelings when they're on social media. Now, to help concerned mums and dads, the Department of Education has launched a new online guide, there it is, which decodes the secret messages teens are using. Will it work? That's the big question, isn't it? Well, I'm joined by BuzzFeed reporter Ryan Broderick and parenting coach Sue Atkins to help me out here. Good to see you both this evening. Right, I've got, I have got the answers. Did any of you... I bet you knew these. I knew a few of them. OK, yeah. Sue, don't worry, you're probably with me and weren't so sure. I had to look them up, actually. Oh, well, well done. OK, <laughs> so you can help me out. KPC, what does that mean, Sue? I don't know. Uh, key, uh, keep parents... Confused? Keeping parents clueless. Oh, That's pretty good. Oh, well. E999. Oh, I know that one. Go on then. Uh, parent alert. Okay, yeah, parent in room. Yeah. Fair enough. And this one, L M I R L. Uh, let's meet in real life. Yeah, well done. You've done your homework, huh? So, Sue, I mean, one fifth mm. of parents feel ill equipped to keep their children safe online. That's a yes. government's. Mm -hmm. um, statistic. Does that worry you? Well, it does, because I work with parents all the time, yeah. of course, and parents of teens in particular, and they don't know really. This is the first generation of 24-7 connection, and with iPhones, it's very difficult. But it used to be, when you had a laptop, you kind of keep it in a public place, if you like, like the utility room or something. This is my own children, the actually, utility as well. Room. <laughs> I used to keep it there so I could walk past ah, them and just sort of look over and, oh, just so you know that mum's sort of <laughs> hanging around. Whereas now, of course, everyone's in different rooms, on different equipment, and it is very challenging to keep on top of it. But most parents put their head in the sand, and I don't think you can. Of course, this is a good idea to help parents, but it'll, as you say, it'll change like that Will probably it? I tonight. I mean, you know? Ryan, you, you're, you're a young un. <laughs> BuzzFeed's a very trendy place to work, right. isn't it? I mean, at first off, are, pe are kids using these acronyms? I mean, is the Department of Education right in the first place? So my instinct is that a lot of these are either old. I mean, a few of them I was Probably using. Already old by tonight. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like um, uh, ASL, uh, age, sex, location, is a old chat room slang. Um, and a lot of these seem a little off. And then my red flag for me is that um, they don't mention emoji, which are the little cartoon yes. symbols mm. on mm. smartphones. Mm. And if I was a teenager today and I wanted to hide things from my parents, I would use emojis. I feel Why? like that seems to be the most realistic way to do it. So how, how do parents overcome that? I mean, we've had mm. some great comments from our lovely viewers. Jennifer Evans via Facebook says, can't the parents just have Googled it? I mean, that's probably a more sensible Well, option. I've done that in the past <laughs> and said, oh, I wonder what that means. Uh, but I think really, We've got to talk and teach the parents, it's not the kids, uh, to keep up with it so that you can try and talk and prepare your children for some of these should dangers. should parents be snooping in the first place? It's difficult, isn't well, it? Well, it is difficult, but you do need to protect your children, mm. don't you, online? You do need to know, you need to be involved in their lives, but not intrusively. And, of course, the whole nature of it is that they want to sort of change when you're a teenager. You want to be kind of a bit edgy, don't you? Because some of it is a bit more serious, Ryan, isn't mm. it? I mean, GNOC, right. get naked on camera. Mm. You know, right. kids... Children need to be protected to a certain degree online, don't they? But they need their privacy as well. So where do you think the line is drawn? Well, I think anything that inspires parents to care about what their kids are watching or sharing is really important. How do they do it? How do they do it without irritating their children? My thought is, uh, so, I mean, I I'm a little older, uh, but when my parents got Facebook, it was a conversation. And it was kind of a fun one because it was like, this is part of my life. I'm on the internet a lot. I'm on my phone. And it's something I share with them. And then they try. And it's a back and forth. And I think that if you have a a dialogue about the internet with your child, that's probably the most yes, natural yeah. way to do it. Yes. Have you got an acronym for the end of the conversation? Um, uh, oh, uh, BBL. Be back later. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, BBL, guys. Thank you very much for joining us tonight.